explanations on how the double acting and single acting cylinders work, right? Now we will connect the circuit diagram to show you how they actually operate. You can see that there are two small pneumatic cylinders. One is a double acting, the other is a single acting. Can you see the difference? Single acting cylinder only has one port, and double acting cylinder has two ports, right? Let's turn them on first with all the pneumatic tubes connected like this. On the outside, it doesn't look like there is a big difference in the operation between these double acting and single acting cylinders, right? But what happens on the inside is a little different. As we learned before, this single acting cylinder has an internal spring in the direction of the head cover. So when pressurized air enters through the port on the rod cover side, and the cylinder rod is retracted, the internal spring will be compressed, and when air pressure is released again, the spring expands back, making the cylinder rod to move forward. The double acting cylinder works a little differently. When pressurized air enters through the port on the rod cover side, and the cylinder rod is retracted, air is let out through the head cover side. Then pressurized air enters through the head cover port, and air is let out through the port on the rod cover side, making it move forward. If we want to see the difference between the single and double acting cylinder operations more clearly, we just need to set the same conditions for the two cylinders. Let's see what happens when I remove the tube connected to the head cover port on the double acting cylinder, just like on the single acting. Let's turn them on like this. This will cause the air intake and outlet to only go through the rod cover port on both cylinders, right? See, the single acting cylinder works without any problem even when air is taken in and let out through a single port. This is because it has a built-in spring. But if you look at the double acting cylinder, the rod is not moving because air is not taken in through the other port. In this video, we studied the pneumatic cylinders' internal structures, their main components, and the way they work. Although this is pretty basic knowledge, but many of you may have not fully understood the exact purpose of each component. Because I was pretty confused at the beginning as well. I hope that what we covered in this video was helpful for you. If it was, please hit the subscribe button and the like button. Thank you! Miss Pneumatic Channel is working together with KCC Precision.